Hello and welcome to Shopify Drop Beat Store Development Beginners to Expert Course. In this lecture, we will create another pages like that it, that are also called private pages or terms and condition pages. But for that, uh, we made it simple. You just have to go to settings, and then from the settings, you have to move forwards to adverse to policies. Like the policies, you will see that uh, the already default pages have been created just keep from control A and there. It is just all and all the repeated pages. So it is one way you can create the store policy in terms of condition pages from here. As well as there is another option, it is Docker for tools. Just try this in Google and you will be heading towards three business tools by Shopify. Shopify.com that tools here. You will just try it. You can create anything like or you can get a logo, you can get a business name generator, slogan maker, domain name generator, like in bio performers, movies to look up. But we are concerned with the uh, pages. So first of all we will look at up these pages there on this tool. It is very helpful. So we then create street card policy page from here. Once you would go there, we just write the email and there here you can write email and then password. And then store name. Okay, cool. We can start it like this. Obviously, saying all of these is, okay. we can just load in from here. Stop loading in, we can load in, take us that to. Here, so I was just going to show you that I can just write the name. Okay, here privacy. Uh, and the street phone get the privacy, get a privacy policy, and in here, actually, if you are not already on the job trial. And I'll skip that file and then I'll write the company name here. Oh. Email address to convert it. That email address. Keep in mind that all these settings. All this data will be shown in into your privacy. Here we write. You can also write the fuel. And then when we click on send privacy policy. It will say that a link to your privacy policy is emailed, being emailed. So we close this one and we'll check with our email. Okay, once you open your email, you will find that privacy policy page here in your email. You can get free content to privacy policy now and it will be shrank at the due question. Privacy policy has been successfully created and just click copy to clipboard. And then you have to go to your store and then we will just go to our pages and in the pages we have to simply point a name here, add page and then 
Barbecue all the thing and then just paste it up there and you see that um, a pretty small save our privacy policy page has been created so here is the privacy policy page all the links that has been required next to the email address of your company that the address of your store and everything that you put up in the data data is available here and you can edit these things that is required well there are some things just like here you see to add this document to your website create a new page title and privacy policy below the post and paste in the text below and follow the instruction in the sections down the bar it um brackets once you create your privacy create they add a link to it in your website footer perform we have copied all this information in our here and we will just you have to just simply edit all the things to be edited in this bracket. Once it's done, our privacy policy is ready. Thank you, Barbara.